Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, hot music aficionados all over the United States, Canada, and Latin America. Here's a private good afternoon to those 300 workers in our Detroit war plant who got out a petition and had the boss move their Saturday lunch hour up so they could all listen to this program every week, community style, over the shop's public address system. Now, by the way out there, don't forget that beginning next week, Eddie's concerts start at 1.30 p.m. Eastern wartime. <laughs> I guess you'll have to try to get the boss to switch your new lunch hour back two hours. Here's a memo to that trombone player up in Oswego, New York, who sits in with us every week alongside of his radio set. We didn't get that news from him direct. The neighbors dropped Eddie a line. Now, don't forget, old man, oil that trombone up two hours earlier next week because Eddie comes on the air at 1.30 p.m., just ahead of the college football broadcast. Well, outside of a little salute to Louis Armstrong, nobody seems to know just what's going to happen here this afternoon, as usual. Nobody, that is, except Mr. Eddie Condon. Well, the personnel of that last number was Gene Schreer on the piano, still at Nick's, uh, Bob Haggard, still with his chickens on the bass, uh, Ernie Caceres on the baritone, a radio man, does that Mildred Bailey show and various other ones. And uh, Miff Mould has got the band down at Nick's. And P.B. Russell is in, in that band down at Nick's. And uh, I guess that was all. Maxie Kaminsky had a little bit to do with that background. 